All right, so here's the deal. I'm running into a little bit of a deadline problem. Yeah, I have to be across town in, wait, what's 10 hours? It's nine o'clock at night at the moment. I have to be there at seven. I don't have to be there at seven. I really should be there by eight. And um, what I want to bring, I've got an idea, but it's not built yet. So this is what I got so far. There's that the tower. You've all probably seen that if you've been following this channel for a while. Uh, power line tower, I'm just using flex hose like these. Uh, and I decided to do three instead of six because that's the amount I had in those longer runs. I have two more longer runs down there, but not, uh, not six, or sorry, not 12 tubes. I need 12 to do this successfully. Um, and then I got, uh, get the light reflecting in it, but you got the wrecked flat car, which I don't know that I've actually featured on this channel. Check out my wrecked flat car. Okay. Now that you've seen my wrecked flat car and the berm pond, and yeah, getting all sides of it here, we get this transition plate down to the flat. You get the flat with the QR code that advertises me. That might move somewhere else. The viewing side is this side, so you're going to be looking this way. There's the power lines. I'm going to place more base plates there. Cool. Okay. Paraline Tower, the big one, is going to go somewhere around here, probably. Uh, coming, like, pointing this way, where the cables would come over the tracks. So the tracks need to curve. They need to come in this way and then curve around this way. And it make, needs to make it look like it didn't make the curve. It derailed. It jumped. There's some track marks it made. It's been there a while, but I guess there's not enough wind to wash that away, or maybe that's solid rock. I don't know. Either case. And of course, I'm getting a little ambitious. So there's some flex tube that I'm using, and I'm gonna use similar pieces on this one to allude to that, like they're coming across to each other. Here's where it gets dicey. Oh, and the tower is going to sit like behind that, like right here. And it's going to point this way. Here's where it gets weird and wacky and crazy. Is this is pneumatic tubing. And yeah. Uh, so it's hollow. This is genuine Lego pneumatic tubing. And it turns out I've got two of them. Roughly the same length. That are the proper length to do that curve. So my thought is I take clips like these and I clip them to basically the tops of I-beams and not I-beams, sorry, uh, square beams. And uh, I'm sorry guys, it's late. I'm really tired. Thanks for bearing with me if you made it this far. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, the, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So the crazy idea is that those will be the tracks, is making custom Lego track out of one by one brown bricks, a couple of brackets, and one by one modified tiles with clips like these. And uh, pneumatic tubing. <laughs> That's crazy. So flex hose, hollow flex hose, which is that stuff there. And hollow tubing for power lines and rails. That's it's, I think it's an awesome, fantastic idea, and it's only crazy because I still haven't eaten supper. It's 9.15 p.m., and I need to get some sleep tonight, <laughs> so I'm going to turn off the camera. Thanks for watching.
And, uh, yeah, say a prayer for me. <laughs> Wish me luck. Something. Uh, I don't know. Is this, is this, is this idea too crazy? Let me know in the comments. Or don't. That's okay. Let's get to work.